हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी अ जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक गुरु एंड डिसाइपल गुरु भक्ति योगा ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी शिवानंद जी महाराज ऑफ डिवाइन लाइफ सोसाइटी ऋषिकेश इंडिया ही हैपन्स टू बी माय परम गुरु माय गुरु इज गुरु स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद जी महाराज इज माय डायरेक्ट गुरु एंड देन हिज गुरु इज स्वामी शिवानंद सो इट्स अ ग्रेट ब्लेसिंग दैट वी आर रीडिंग दीज प्रोफाउंड मिस्टिकल डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस बुक्स फ्रॉम दीज डिवाइन मैस्टर्स and also we are enjoying the nectar of spiritual growth as a result so today's satsang we will cover principles of discipleship and meditation on the guru a man is under the beginningless ignorance he cannot have self realization without the preceptor period a guru is absolutely needed just like doctors cannot do big surgeries unless they go to medical school and get proper experimentation teaching guidance from the teachers then they become successful much in the same way in the on the spiritual dimension a true guru is absolutely mandatory if you are looking for self realization he who knows brahman only can import the knowledge of brahman otherwise how can someone give you something when they themselves don't have it a wise man should worship only with undying devotion knowing the guru to be one with the lord and atman so a true disciple doesn't see any difference between his conscience with guru and with god he considers them all the same disciple should have sincere devotion to his guru and to the lord be absolutely filled with devotion and love the disciple should serve his guru obediently attentively and sincerely and learn the bhagavad dharma or duties of the devotee of a lord from him so learn observe watch and practice disciple should serve the guru as his god which is a sure way of pleasing the lord of universe and becoming fit for his grace god is very pleased when you revere your guru disciple should practice non attachment and keep company with his divine master this is why the old gurukul system people students used to stay and serve the master for many many years and then the guru would guide them on this holy path disciple should first obtain the grace of his preceptor and follow the path pointed out by him so the guru is like a doctor he may give different prescriptions to different patients to different devotees so don't compare and contrast don't say oh guru is partial or he is not asking him to do something but he's asking me to do it there is a reason why the guru is doing it that way but we due to our foolishness do not realize it a disciple should dwell in the house of the preceptor with control over the senses and study of the scriptures it's a sacred journey the scriptures are the road to self realization and the guru is the one who will take you there so follow it with utmost sincerity the disciple should eat the food rich or poor good or bad more or little which comes from the guru's holy hand whatever comes from the guru is prasad it becomes holy sanctified food that should be relished and enjoyed moving on to meditation on the guru meditation of the guru's lotus feet is the only way for attaining immortality and eternal bliss shri guru charana saroj raj guru's feet are lotus like from there you get the vibrations that flow through the guru and come to you so therefore they are enough to get you immortality and eternal bliss those who do not concentrate on the lotus feet of guru 
are slayers of their Atman. What does that mean? That simply means that they will not realize the essence of this beautiful human birth and they will be reborn again and again. So they kill their own selves, their own Atman. They are in fact living corpses and miserable wretches. They are very poor people. So Swami Shivananda Ji is very, <laughs> very direct in, on this path that those who don't see, don't revere the Guru are indeed unfortunate souls. The wise cut asunder the knot of egoism by that sharp sword of constant meditation on the lotus feet of the Guru. So do sadhana. Sadhana is spiritual practice. Intensify it. Meditate. Realize. Meditation on the lotus feet of the Guru is the master key for opening the realms of eternal bliss. So your life will start becoming more and more serene, pleasant, joyful. Adversity and prosperity will come with equanimity and your inner sense will ever be the same peaceful self. Few souls actually get to experience this beautiful journey, those who follow this path. Meditation on Guru is the only real royal road to the ultimate reality. So Guru becomes the um, mediator to connect you with God, the link, and then it all becomes one. Meditation on Guru kills all pain, sorrows and suffering. So think of the Guru with devotion and you will see how wonderful your life becomes. And also, meditation on the Guru destroys the sorrow, the grief, the pain, the misery, all the things you are experiencing. Externally, they will continue because karma plays its own role. Prarabdha karma has to be dealt with. But internally, you will become stronger and stronger and you will be able to pass through many tests. Meditation on Guru gives vision of your Ishta Devata. God also comes Ishta Devata, your favorite whatever mantra you have been given by the Guru is your Ishta Devata. And that Devata, that God is also pleased when you are serving your Guru sincerely and with devotion. Meditation on Guru is a balloon that helps the disciple to soar high into the realm of eternal bliss everlasting peace and perennial joy. So this is the way for sadhakas, serious spiritual aspirants and only those who are highly qualified will be able to comprehend and also follow through. The others will be simply barred from entry because they are not, they cannot follow or they will not follow and thus are not qualified for this higher level of seva service meditation on guru is the royal road to attain godhead so you attain what you have come to do on this planet earth through the help of a guru meditation on guru is the grand trunk road which takes the disciple direct to the destination of divine consciousness guru removes the ignorance that is in our consciousness and therefore puts you on the road to success. Meditation on Guru is the mystic ladder which takes the disciple from earth to heaven. Such is the glory of the Guru. Without meditation on the lotus feet of Guru, there is no spiritual progress for a disciple. So daily, I even here, you can probably not see, but next to my Guru's uh, picture, I have his lotus feet that I, uh, these are the padukas, uh, they are um, wooden padukas, holy padukas that Gurudev, when we were in Miami, Florida, he put his feet on them and we brought them, we put it on our head with reverence and then we have placed it in our holiest of shrines to uh, feel his presence, his love, his energy and it is always with us. So that is very important. Meditate on the lotus feet of the Guru 
every day. Regular meditation on preceptor opens the avenues of intuitional knowledge. Because of that grace, the ignorance, the illusion curtain will open. Of course, you have to put in your effort. But that even becomes possible through Guru's grace. It makes the mind calm and steady and awakens your inner consciousness. Such is the glory of these great masters. So we bow down. I do Shashtang Dandavat Pranams, meaning I prostrate to these holy masters who so selflessly have shown us this path of enlightenment and God realization. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Hari Om Tatsat.